What's going on everybody? This is Rasan from retireboss.com and today I want to talk about Instagram. Um so for people that know, Instagram is a social media platform. It's like one of the cooler ones out there. You can upload images, uh you know, take pictures, little videos, and it's a great way to connect with people. Um just for fun or if you're in marketing using Instagram to connect with new with new, you know, prospects or just, you know, engaging with different people within your niche. Um, Instagram is a great way to do all that. Um, Instagram, as we know, is a phone app, either you know, Android or iPhone, and which is pretty cool. But sometimes you want to use, you know, for whatever reason, you want to use your computer to, you know, to access Instagram to also like upload pictures. Um, you know, whether you maybe your phone is you know, on a fritz or you know, just for convenience, or you might have something really cool on your saved to your hard drive on your computer that you want to upload to Instagram and sometimes it's a pain in the butt to to you know sometimes you have to email picture I've had, had to email pictures to my phone and stuff like that and, and it becomes a grind. So I wanted to find something that allows me to use Instagram on my computer where I can upload, you know, stuff that I have. So I was searching, you know, for anything solution to that and I ran across this tool called Grambler. Um Grambler is, you know, allows you to take any image from your computer or video, upload it to Instagram, just like you do if you're using your phone. Um, so you go to Grambler.com, right up here, Grambler.com, and you'll see the download buttons, whether you have Windows or you have Mac. Um, you're going to click on that, it downloads it right to your hard drive. I think it comes in a zip form, zip format, so you might have to unzip the file. And then you just upload it, you know, right to your hard drive. Um, so once you do that, it takes like a couple of seconds, no big deal. And once you do that, okay, you'll see the icon here going right to your desktop. So you're just going to click on it. And this is what comes up. The application loads. And you'll see. Okay. So now you'll see this screen here. Um, it's really simple. And it's a free tool. So don't worry about paying. It's a free tool, and you have your option to upload now. You can schedule your post if you like. You know, you could have a bunch of them loaded up and schedule them at different times. Uh, shows your history. Let me just delete that. Now I'm gonna use that picture. Um, you can earn coins, which is a cool thing. Like. Where it's earning coins, you actually can get, you know, translate those into likes for your for your image once you post it. It's pretty cool if you want to get like quick, you know, likes or engagement on your on your images on your post. Um, you can also buy these coins and use them for the same reason to to translate them into likes for your pictures. Um, for for right now, we're just gonna upload an image. So, it's gonna click on the box. And let me see the image I wanted to use. Uh, I had one. Oh, this one here. Okay. Life is like a photograph. We develop from the negatives. Okay. And I made this actually. I made this image through Canva. Um, it's like a great. It's a, another free tool that you can create images and stuff like that. Um, I might do a video about Canva later on, but um, check it out. Canva is really cool. Um, so I made this. So we're gonna hit save, and you can actually just like on the phone app, you can do your different effects, you know, frame stickers, you know. Let me see. Uh, so you have your different, you know, all your filters, all your cool filters. If you want to get really fancy with the images, I'm just gonna leave them just as is right now. Uh, so I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so once you, you know, decide this is what you like, hit continue. And then here you have the option to put your caption in. So I wrote something earlier. I was going to use this. Copy. Copy and paste it right in there. Let me pull that up a little bit. Okay, so there's my little quote I'm going to use to go along with this picture. Now, I know a lot of people like to use hashtags. Um, and I'm going to use hashtag with this too, but from what I've read and from just you know prior experiences, um, it's 
better to put your hashtags in a comment and instead of in your caption. It just it just makes for better engagement and get a lot of different more likes and engagement to your images to your posts when you use the hashtag in a comment. I don't know why, it's just this is what I've heard and I've actually tested it out and it actually does work. So I tend to put them in my in my comments. Now you can't uh, you know alter your comments or put any comments on this platform but I'm gonna show you really quick how to do that on it on Instagram itself so once you you know check it out pictures what you know size up correctly uh, everything seems great I'm just gonna hit send okay takes a couple of seconds okay and now you know and now it says submit for ratings but I was talking about the coins before you can actually let me show you real quick I'm not going to do it here but I'm going to show you what it does you can actually depending on how many coins you have you can actually get a number of likes so let's say I have 535 so and it gives you a little count let's see how many likes you know so I have 535 so let's say 500 510 so for example it gives you 51 likes and sometimes you can actually get even more likes um, but I'm not going to do that because um, I want to use the hashtag, especially if you're a marketer and you're trying to get targeted traffic to your images, you might not want to use the free likes. I mean, it's good. You can play around with it, but um, sometimes you get likes from people that maybe not in your niche, you know, so I don't know how effective that'll be, but if you want to play around with it, it's great. Um, it doesn't hurt you, but if you're, you know, like I said, you want to get targeted targeted people to like and comment on your images or if you just want to test out different hashtags to see what works and what doesn't I would just leave that alone so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that right now so right now once you hit the pictures already on Instagram load it up so I'm gonna show you let me go here and it's gonna refresh and here's my picture here's my image you click on it Great. So now I was talking about the hashtags. You want to put them in your comment section. So I have a group of hashtag hashtags that I want to use for this. I'm going to hit copy. And I, I might do another video as well about different hashtags, where to find you know relevant hashtags um, for your images, depending on where you you know which which type of traffic you're trying to drive or you know things like that. So I was going to click, copy and paste. And now all my hashtags are in my comment section. And literally that's it. That is it. So now you have your image, you have your caption, you have your hashtag, all done on my computer. And it's a great tool. So if you know, for whatever reason, if you want to be able to have the ability to, to use Instagram from your computer as opposed to your or your smartphone or you want to have both let's have the option or maybe your phone's out and you want the, just another solution to, to using Instagram uh, go right to grambler.com it's a free tool download it upload it and then you'll be good to go so uh, for anything else that's um I think that's it for right now um, if you want any more marketing tips and trainings and stuff like that be sure to go to retireboss.com uh, my free blog and and sign up for you know for your newsletter to get our updates and just check out our posts. We have like a lot of different tips and stuff like that. So until next time, it's, it's Hassan for Retire Your Boy signing out and catch y'all later.